for our time of prayer today, I invite us to, uh, uh, to keep each other, our community, and our state, and other parts of our nation and world in our prayers as uh, we are taking steps, as in Missouri, we are taking steps forward and kind of opening things up, up more. But also as we look around the nation, we see that other folks are uh, seeing spikes in, uh, in coronavirus cases. And so we live in a very unusual time. And it's a time when we are desperately in need of prayer so that we can seek out God's answers to help us know uh, what direction we need to be going. And so I invite you to, uh, to, lift, uh, to lift us and all of those uh, up in your prayers. Um, as, uh, as far as uh, joys that we have, um, we uh, uh, some exciting times that are coming up. We are going to be celebrating graduation in July, so watch for more information about that. The uh, community service is coming up. Watch for more information about that. It'll be a great time for our community to come together uh, and share with one another in a time of worship as, uh, as things are coming, are coming back online. Uh, there's so much that is taking place, good, bad, and otherwise. I invite you now to take, to take all of this up to God in prayer. First, in a few moments of silent prayer, then I will say a few words, then I will invite you to join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Will you pray with me? Most gracious and loving God, as we gather here today, we lift up to you our joys and our concerns, the great celebration and hope for things to come, but also our worries and our concerns. We look around at a very, very confused world right now, and we find ourselves uh, a confused part with it, uh, trying to understand what's going on and what's taking place and what our role should be in the midst of it. Lord, as we gather for this time, Help us to see uh, what we need to do. Help us to continue to lift up in prayer those that are in need of your care and your strength. And help us also to lift up the joys and the celebrations for all the things that are taking place. Lord, as we come to you in prayer, we also ask for your help that we may hear your voice. Help us to listen as you call on us. Because we know that as we come through this time, that things won't ever go completely back to the way that they were. That's the nature of how things happen after crises like this. Lord, help us to instead heed your voice so that we may go in the right direction, so that we may know who you want us to become, and that we may do those things necessary to get that to happen. Lord, we lift all this up to you today in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we commit all of this to you, uh, through the words of the prayer that he taught us, as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our children's message today uh, is in, the, in uh, the next video. If you're looking at this on the blog post, if you're watching on the YouTube playlist, you won't see it. Uh, it's one of those kids' videos that uh, you can't save to a playlist. Uh, but I invite you to go back and look at it. It tells the story of Josiah. Uh, Josiah, who was a boy king and yet uh, was working so very hard to make important changes in Israel and even succeeded uh, through so very much of that. And just reminds us that our kids, uh, even though we think they're kids and they don't know much, they do still have a lot that they can teach us. And uh, sometimes we just need to take the opportunity to listen and learn from them too. So I invite you to watch this video and then we'll come back after that. 